Good evening. Um, I was uh, playing this old classic earlier. First of all, rest in peace to Bobby Robson there. Great manager, great man. And uh, also kudos to that guy that's topless to the right of him. Wonder where he is now. PSV. I think that was... Uh, I think that's when he was in Holland. So it's probably some Dutch player. It might be Vim Jonk actually thinking about it. it would be crazy if I was right. Um, shows how much irrelevant stuff I know. Anywho, um, yes, I was playing this game and I thought this would be a really good stream. And I've decided because I have an agreement with my friend Darlo11. If you've watched any of my races or FIFA, you might know him. That I could do Chelsea on my next stream. So here we go. Chelsea 1997-98. So we have quite the Metropolitan squad. I haven't really been through it yet, so like head to height, oh, quality goalkeeper there. Not so good aerial ability or positioning, so um, that might be interesting. But they've gone in from Holland. Karine. So his aerial ability is class. He's better than he's better than Dehoy. Kevin Hitchcock makes you think of Hitchcock and Scully off Brooklyn Nine Nine. He ain't the worst either. Quite injury prone. And then this guy, Colgan. He ain't bad either. Jeez, some of these players are not bad. So I got some good keepers there, so he's going to get loaned. Neil Clement. He's only 18, he's not bad. Steve Clark, current Scotland manager. But he's not up to much. Heading's low. His tackling's good, but as a fullback. Probably want a bit more pace, so his future's under threat. Frank Sinclair, famous for that legendary own goal when he's playing for Leicester. Again, like his pace is low. I'm not convinced by him. Lambord. Jeremy, I look at heading, tackling, positioning uh, for defenders. So I'm not trying to quite dump on anybody yet. I think I'll probably get rid of him there. He was supposed to be really promising, Dubry. He's not too bad, is he? Leboeuf. Look at his positioning and tackling and heading. They're all awful. He can pass. Great. Not convinced by him. Eddie Newton, of course. Cardiff City legend. He is not up to much, though. Sorry, Eddie. You're on your way out. He's not bad. I'm just not trying to use him when he has too much. Petrescu, ah, he is a proper right back. His pace isn't good though. He's got good passing, good creativity. His tackling hand is awful, so I'm not sure I'd play him as a right back at all, actually. Dennis Wise, Rangers one in. Bit of a Chelsea legend. Jody Morris, I think he's supposed to be quite promising, but looking at him, he's not up to much, is he? So you'll get loan him out. But I'm not convinced actually. Baba Yarrow. Look how awful and tackling positioning. I mean, I'd get rid of him, but he's so young that I think I'll just list him for loan and Andy Myers. His head in. Oh. I just got a personal emergency, just need to shoot and get something. Someone's missing some toilet roll. Emergency averted. Okay. No, he can go. You don't get many offers on this game for players, I notice. Just so. His heading's only two. You want me to put this player at the back? Shocking. Do you? I mean, I'm hesitant to let go any young, because in case they turn really good. Di Matteo. He's pretty. Decent. Gus Poye. I'd have thought his passing would be higher, to be honest. Oh, him. 
Where have we been to? Have we played for Newcastle? He's a cracking player though. Definitely keep him around. I have no need for a forward left. There you go. Mark Steinmus. Oh no, it's Mark. Mark Hughes. He's a Welsh legend, so he's staying no matter what. Mark Stein? My gosh. Didn't realize he was still there then. He's not up to much, so he can go. So my friend Dalo would kill me if I got rid of Zola, and I certainly won't be with stats like that. 20 creativity, 20 dribbling, 18 passing, 20 set pieces. I think you'll be finding this man is a focal point of the team. Tori Andre Flo. Joe Sheeran, look at his pace. Blair. He's someone I think could be interesting to see him on loan. Okie dokes, I've got two free spots in the squad. Let me just pick... Uh, Karine, I think, is number one, frankly. Poor Ed de Hoy is number two. The tent is only play. I'm not happy with my fullbacks. So what I might do... Uh, two, three, four. I just haven't got the fullbacks, actually, have I? At the moment, I'd go with something like... I need a centre-back, don't I? So I'd just go with like, these three. Perhaps Le Berth, ball playing, steps forward a bit. And then you want sort of wing-backs. Let's see Let's do some proper numbers, these players. Huh? So Petrescu is a wing-back. Oh, loads of people interested in that's brilliant. And uh, the so is a, the play win backs, that's for sure. So, so we're both stepping out there, and these two coming forward. Please write in the chat and tell me if I am absolutely flopping with this. So, in centre mid. We've got five, so it's effectively playing a 5 3 2 at the moment, anyway. Um, so, I think what I want is Flo and Zola. So, I have Zola sort of doing a bit of that. And perhaps three midfielders in behind Zola. Chave can be one of them. Di Matteo. Oh, and Dennis Wise. Got a lot of arrows in this formation, haven't we? <laughs> I want Chave going forward, though. And Di Matteo come from there. So I'm not sure how effective this tactic's going to be. So direct rather than on ball. We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Hopefully some of these injuries clear up. But I can see where... Oh, Gus Poye. forgot about him. Why oh, he's got good dribbling? Let's have him pop into attack there. There's just two attacks in there. I feel like I'm going mad. I always like looking at stuff like this. So, who is Hall of Fame? No. Reputations. So, I'm up there with Tony Pulis, <laughs> Gary Megson. Who's the best managers in the world? Fergie, well, standard. Whoever that Clemente guy is. Don't ask me to pronounce the name of that Real Madrid manager. Uh, Van Hal, Dalglish. Terry Venables, Australia. George Graham, Walter Smith, legend. Kevin Keegan, no club. Be a dark horse. Roy Hodgson, Arsene Wenger, only 22nd. Say, like, this game's made a year later after he's won a double then. Ireland are called higher there. That's the way you actually say in the chat, Charlton. 
Ian Rush. Is he a manager at this point? Oh, he's still playing. Stuart Pearce, he's definitely playing on this. I think what it is, it's been previous versions of this game and people who are managers have been, previous years have been kept on even if they've gone back to playing. Oh, legend. He's already been on the, <laughs> been on the release. Oh, I think I just got rid of Viali. Yeah, he released himself. Oh, it's something we lost it. How good is Viali? Oh. I just search a name. Oh, I have to get so that looks like an arrow down. He's a striker, isn't he? Yeah, never mind. <laughs> so we've got 16 million to spend. Unavailable and injured. Pesky quality. I know he's become a bit of a joke, but look at his head in stamina, strength, shooting. I don't see too many other players that would fit. Now there is a player, defender and a striker. Are the clubs interested then? Yeah, I'm interested in Dublin. What kind of positions he can cover? That's the thing, when you're limited on squad numbers, you want to find players that can cover multiple positions. Centre mid, I'm really looking at. Centre back, actually. The dire, dire need of centre back. So I'm going to play three at the back. The doubling, obviously, could be one. Is Richard Rufus that good? 22. He has got good stats, I'll give him that. I'm trying to regret after these transfers now. V Charm, God. He's not that good at all. Darren Percy ended up the card. Another striker forward. Wow. Yeah, so you get a transfer list. You don't get um, Shaka Slop's transfer list. Sometimes in the released, I think he's a. Uh, there he is. Look at him. He'll come back. <laughs> I know that these games are, you can go online, you find lists of players who you should sign, but I'd like to do this without any cheats. Work it all out myself. Got competition for Dion and Rufus. We have to sell someone if we're going to get all three. It's a six year deal, I suppose. It's... If he wants to come to us, he'll take the offer. Still wonder if that's the right decision. I should go for someone like Rio Ferdinand, shouldn't I? Available, is he? Oh, we short list. Also, Sol Campbell. Two absolute legends. So, Chelsea 97 98 had a good year. I remember watching the final of the Cup Winners' Cup with Stuttgart, which they won 1 0. And Chelsea won those glamorous sides. I think they went for the title. They weirdly sat Hullet, if I remember right. When Viali came in, and at that point they were sort of in the title race, but they slipped away. And these are the days where, you know, Chelsea was sort of a lot of people's second team. They were quite loved, uh, which sort of changed when all the money came in, you know, naturally. You know, Man City, I think, are not as loved anymore. We'll do the deal, come on. 
not live to regret it, probably. 30 grand for a four year deal. Was he 33? Uh, no. I'll give him the 30 grand, but one year deal. Which means he'll probably say no. But to be honest, if we signed Eon Dublin, then don't really need him anyway. I love the news you get on this. <laughs> Wickham went to East Stirlingshire for a manager. So we've got the Charity Shield coming up. Come on, fixtures. Charity Shield, all tough. Start away to Liverpool. And Crystal Palace home. Hopefully we can get some points there. Tottenham home, Southampton away, my United home. So it's a tough year. Not booking any preseason friendlies. Nah, just go for it. We get addicted to the transfer market on this. But he said we can't, we can't really do a lot in the market until we got a shot of a couple of players. He's no, it's Neverland. Neverland's the one that's supposed to be absolutely beastly. Some of these sometimes turn out to be amazing. Be like um manager division free side no he wasn't gonna come interestingly i don't think we've offered dublin a contract yet i don't know what's happening there so yeah i mean do you all have any memories of chelsea in 97 98 the target really with this file is can i win the title before chelsea did in real life which would mean i've got eight seasons before the end of 2004-2005, when Jose did it with all the money. So, imagine having unlimited money on this, the players you can sign. Great. 16 million is a generous budget, though. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot now, but in 97-98, that was a big transfer budget. I mean, you were considered a big club if you had a budget like that. I mean, that summer, United, I think, signed Teddy Sheridan for like 2 million. You know, they didn't, they didn't, and that was considered a big sign then. He probably would have paid more if he wasn't in his 30s. Oh, it's taking a while to load, isn't it? Oh. Yes, here we go. We'll bump that up to 25 grand. He can definitely have a four year deal. He's only 28, I think, so he's the sort of player as well, Dublin, that will play well when he's older. I'm still wondering about my tactic. Have I got too many arrows pointing around? Is it a little bit overcomplicated? I'll find out. Perhaps use the charity shield as sort of a test. Or if we get stuffed by Man United, that's not really the end of the world. Barry Fry left Peterborough for Breakin City. An odd move. Especially when he owned Peterborough at the time. Some odd moves on these games. Scarborough Football League Club, why would their manager go to Green Up Morton? Oh, the butte. I like that. Current English International makes it sound like a really big deal. <laughs> and it is a big deal, I'm really pleased. We've signed Dublin. In real life, he waited another year and then he signed for Aston Villa. I think he was joint top scorer in 97 98 with um, Chris Sutton, because I supported Blackburn in the 90s, so I remember that. And Michael Owen, a young Michael Owen, was joint top scorer. So Dublin, I'm not sure, quite sure what to do with him yet, actually, where to put him. I think, to be honest, I think at the moment, I need to start and stay in defence to start. I don't know, we've got a bit of a shortage there. So now we can't sign anyone until we sell someone. So hopefully some of the interest in our players will develop into something. So who do you guys all support in the 90s? I support Cardiff now, it's my local team, and I did go to watch them in the 90s a few times. Uh, but I guess for Blackburn it was sort of they were successful at the time I started liking football, and I think a lot of people I knew supported them. We all moved on to Man United, but at least I stayed loyal. 
At least I wasn't a total glory hunter, and I stayed loyal with him all the way down to Division 1, and back up again. And then you sort of get to the point where you're like, why? You know, I go in regularly to Cardiff Games, that's my local team. That is a blow. That is a blow. But I think I can put Poye there. Transfer market is very active. One of these any relation to Antonio? Getting close to the charity shield. Right, so that Zola news makes me very unhappy. But there's an opportunity for Poye to impress me. I mean, I don't know. Eddie Ewan, I guess, get on the bench. Right, first test for the tactic. I'll check to make sure. Right, so penalties. Dublin can take the penalties. I think corners and free kicks go to Poye and captain. I think Le Burphy has quite a lot of influence. Um, one thing I want to check, actually. Is Azola's weekly wage? That's loads for back then. Wow. Contract ends. So, does anyone want to stay? For example, Chave. I think he's unbelievable. Doesn't look like I can offer anything now in the team. Chave, new deal. I like Colgan as well, but again, they might just wait and see if he gets anywhere with us. Clement's a good youngster, but at least that means there's a fair few players I don't fancy that will be on their way out. So. So first test of the season. Hey, Tori Andre Flo. Cracking start. Repaying my faith in him up front. And we're flying here. I think the three five two's right. Oh. Three five two's right, I think that maybe the way I've set up the attack needs some adjustments. Roy Keen on for Ben Thornley, there's a change, huh? Uh Karine. Means you never know if it's their fault or not. Like not on the modern day football managers, you can see the highlights, but I mean you might not be able to hold on to it because it was such a good shot. Come on, Charve. You're an absolute nobody, but I like your stats, but if you don't perform then I'm doing all right. Yeah, we just they got a pretty strong side out, apart from Fawney and Mulrain. We'll leave it as it is for now. See how it goes. Right, now it's time for some changes. So I am going to put. Charvet off. Sit Mark Hughes up front. Wise can sit back a little bit, I think. I don't really rate any of our subs though, so maybe I'll bring on some Morris as a youngster at the end. Oh, almost instant impact from Mark Hughes there. Oh. Maybe two up front's the way forward. We are in the 90s after all. Give Jody a run out. Uh, give Frank a run out. Oh, you gotta be. Oh, thank goodness, that was a red card. Should be, wouldn't it? Handball when he threw on goal. That's usually a red. Yeah. I was just gonna say, you know, we're losing, but at least it's respectable. This free one isn't that bad, but I just think we scored and then United have just been all over us. And there it is in the stats here, they really took over in the second half. It's had a lot of free kicks though. Oh well, 
dust ourselves down and go again, as they say. Great enough to hear about our interest in everyone in the alley. Be great if someone would offer for one of my players. Back to Italy, the Ali. Palmer, a big team back then. Now they're not so big. They went bankrupt and uh, Bobby killed. I'll give him a hint. They should get rid of him. Sorry, Bobby. <laughs> this wasn't the best of times. <laughs> this interest. Eddie Neiman's got interest. wonder if I drop the price a bit. Uh, encourage Granville gone as well. Do what they did in the supermarkets when they put nine pound ninety nine to make it look cheaper. <laughs> do I want to get rid of Myers? I have transfers to them. Mark Hughes at Liverpool. There's no interest, right? We're just in contracts. Charvet is only going one year. Uh, what's the cap? Eight grand, so that's basically just a renewal. I'll have to give it four years. I like Cold, uh, he's great. He only wants. See, I'm a six point in that. Three years, buddy. Or nothing. Not sure about him. Just do those for now. Club record: four point six million for Bayern Munich. I think when you start the game, they're all club records, though, because right? they haven't. You know, the game doesn't keep historical records. They're all just here. Are Chavez staying? Oh, happy days. Bye, bye, Andy. Gotta get a lot of our money. York City get in there. <laughs> 900 grand offer. Sammer to Barca. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. He's a Dortmund legend. What's he doing at Barca? Go on. You are interested. Come on, there's at least three good clubs there. Right, that's a tough start. Zola not available. That's a tragedy. Right, I don't want Steve Clark. Oh, I can't get rid of him yet. I don't know why he's going so far forward. Even though he's got good dribbling, I'm just not convinced. I think maybe do this. And that gets Poye in the team later on. And Zola's back. Here he goes. Well done, Rufus. Justifying the 4.3 million I may have unwisely spent on you. At least he on Dublin means he's not my club transfer record, so if he's a flop. And we're not getting a lot of possession, but now I've said that we're Anfield, you know, Liverpool, good side. Heel for attack. Chave? Oh, Brad Frieda with a save, another legend. It's a Blackburn, ex-Blackburn fan. Brad Frieda has much love in my heart. Yes, penalty, come on! Poyer's injured as well, though. I'm going to bring on Hughesy. But he's just got to go up front and Charvet. He's just got to do. I'm just going to leave Charvet like that. Oh! <laughs> oh, Dublin. Spend 6.5 million on you and you do that to me. Disaster. Oh, I'm the one that told him to took the pen as well. Flow. Yes, come on. 
Flo has scored my only goal so far. To be fair, he's he's impressing. He's winning. Di Matteo, what are you doing? Arguing with lines. Oh. See, Mark Hughes is an absolute animal. Let's hope that Wales don't want him to replace Bobby Gould. Ah. Oh. Sound like a long range pearl that Michael Owen. Oh, what are you doing there? It's early on the season, so let's make sure we don't kill our players. 5 3 2 attack it, alright. There's actually more formation for that. Everyone's playing so well, though. No, not changing the thing. Might be a risk. Come on, Flo. Yes! Come on! This is a fantastic. Oh, my gosh, what a legend! Torre Andre Flo is absolutely flying, and we're about to get an outstanding first day win. Some cheeky bring people on just for a. Please get sent off. Um, go on, Eddie. Get yourself on. Cardiff City legend. Defend for us for a minute or so. <laughs> He somehow, somehow Eddie Newton managed to get a five in that one minute and Morris got a seven. So he must have had an absolutely horrible minute on the pitch. But Tory Andre Flo has made me very happy. He made me a happy man. And Dublin, despite the missed penalty, got a seven. And Rufus. The Berth, despite his lack of defensive ability whatsoever, he's more of a centre mid. But I guess in a three, you know, Dublin and Rufus can do the hard work and he can strut about with his polished bald head passing the ball around i shouldn't be so rude about a french world cup winner i think of course in 97 in, in august 97 that hadn't happened yet so maybe i can be that rude yes bald it was Oops, celtic got done so this is the year barnsley had their one season in the premier league blackburn got absolutely done by wimbledon Man United. See, we're not the only ones to get beat by Man United. You see the other leagues as well, which is also sometimes fun. Man City in Division 1. Yep, it happened. It got worse, actually. <laughs> this game a year later, they're in this league. Oh, come on, you bluebirds. Yeah, that's the bad news. That is the bad news. Oh, well done, the so done. I guess they were watching that last game. They didn't see Dublin's Blaze penalty. Let's have a look at Paul Hughes. Yeah, Le Boeuf, Di Matteo. Flo deserves his call up. Good start. My friend Adrian will be happy. But Everton were awful for the 97 98. Woof, woof. Oh, there we go. Stay hands off Hughes. I think Hughes is who replaced him in real life. All right. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. Oh, no. That's not good. But the thing is, my goalies are old, and Colgan could be the future. Real life tonight is Man United versus Liverpool. So I'm just checking the score. I know nothing. Man United are winning. Whoosh. Sancho. Well, well, well. Oh, bye, Eddie. Love you and all. But, gotta go. Not part of my plans. Right, if we follow up that Liverpool win by losing this, I'll cry. So I think I get Hughes in. We're sort of running out of options, to be honest. I think two up front would be wise at home anyway. Is anyone available? I didn't. Oh, please come back soon, Zola. We love you. Crystal Palace were relegated this season. They sort of had an up and down in the Premier League in the 90s. In fact, when they came up for this spell, this is the first time they'd actually stayed up in the Premier League. Every year 
they'd been up, they'd come down. Of course, football did exist before 1992. I just like to point that out. And I'm very respectful of football league history. And maybe sometimes we should consider it as a whole rather than just 30 years. on my laptop on my hand oh, lovely refreshing oh we just scored own goal cheers mate we could save Dimitri Carey he's only getting a five though so he's a little bit on thin ice because you know I've sort of given him a bit of a vote of confidence playing him ahead of Dehoy but uh, if he doesn't back that up then Dehoy will be in I'm sure there's Chelsea fans telling me what am I doing but I'm just going off the ratings, you know, I'm not the sort of person just to do what people tell me or what I'm expected to do. I like to make my own decisions, even if they're wrong. I'm a little uncomfortable. Look, look at this, domination. I'm a little uncomfortable we haven't grabbed a second. And Karin is bothering me that much that he's coming off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, there was nothing to... Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't feel so bad now. There was nothing he could have done anyway. Matt Janssen, another legend. Come on, Tori Andre. Your free goal a game record. You're not keeping it up, here. Yeah? We're going to need to switch the players. Let's give... Oh, there's just no options on the bench, is there? And the Berth isn't having a great game. Let's give Sinclair a run out. Oh, no, nah, I don't want to do that, because Berth can play out. No, I'm not doing anything. I just don't trust any of my subs. And that's why i got to fix when I sign players, is just to get some more squad depth in. I'd like to get some decent reserve fullbacks, to be honest. Because I'm sure it's a lot of work for Patescu and Lasso, and they could do with a bit of rest. Two out of two! Charvey getting an eight. I thought, how does he thought he played for Newcastle? I don't know what he's doing at Chelsea. It says a lot when Palace's goalie gets man of the match. Probably the reason Kareem got a fight is because he was standing there doing nothing. But Matthew Janssen, I'll be keeping an eye on him because uh, I was a Blackburn fan. He was a hero. And it's a pity his career went the way it did. I think he could have truly been an outstanding player. Done stuff for England in World Cups. He did do a lot of stuff in the time he was playing. Man United on the fly. Liverpool lost again. And Blackburn. So we had 16 million. We spent 11 of it on Dublin and Rufus. So I made my mind up on Steve Clark. It's a no for me. Where's his contract up? Yeah. Compensation. One million quid there. I'm more than happy to take. Available on a free at the end of the season, so honestly, 100 grand would be fine. Honestly, if someone come in for a free, so Newton's going to go. Granville? Oh, come on. Make a move. So Clement's sort of a full-back cover. Pace isn't too bad. His passing's awful. I mean, he's not hes not really what we're looking for in that position, I think. I'll put him on the loan list. I don't think we need to... Kevin Hitchcock could go. He's out of contract at the end of the season. Honestly, sorry, Kev. But uh, surprised. It's free up space in the squad, though, so... Just for 63 grand. Don't need to look in that market. There's no point in looking for the unavailable. The clubs just don't sell. So we've got 9.5 yeah, 9 million. So it's tidy. Someone like Dyer. The problem is his passing position is awful. Something for a bit more. 
I want someone that's almost like a winger. Hmm. Kevin Muscat. <laughs> Serves you right for Muscat, that does. Regis. Oh my golly gosh. Who is this guy? Flair 20. I'm not sure of a great call if he came out the back. I can cover me centre back as well. <laughs> Tell you what. Lucas in the LC. Oh, quality, but he's just not on the ratings he deserves. His pace is poor. His pace is good, but his pass is poor. I sort of prejudge players a little bit on this. Just because they weren't good in real life, these games sometimes don't follow. I it was just left side. Hmm. Don't really need a strike at the moment, to be honest. I do have another centre mid though, because I don't really trust what's his name, Jerry Morris, to be honest. Injury proneness 20. Nah, that's going to be a massive waste of money. No. I looked at him earlier on my game, he's pretty. Oh, actually, he's a bit better than he was on the other one. Did they change their ratings? Doesn't really fit what I want to play. What a name. Oh, let's finish this game. You can get into a hole of just constantly looking at play. Oh, hello. One set pieces and one stamina. So he's definitely off the bench guy. He's injury prone now. No, I'm not sure he's for me. Steve Finham, he wasn't a set. Maybe he's a right back. So, uh, yeah, we're struggling to find our, our players here. Yeah, I mean, I could just get a cheat list, but I am not going to. Should we sign Andy Myers back? Nope. That's not going to happen. Gareth Wally. Sign him just for his name. Okay, so I think we can establish we do not know what we want. Is he recommended by World Scout? Euro Scout. <gasps> Future Chelsea player. Look at that flair. Ooh, he's a big bet. Highly recommended. Oh, is this guy? He's on the cheap ones, I think. We found him naturally, so I am going to buy him. Oh, I might double dip and go for Veron as well. Because that covers us if we sell wise. Let's go for it. Ooh, excited. I love transfers. Ooh. <laughs> and that Regis guy off South End. Oh, I forgot about Perez. He's absolutely class. Oh, go on. You're interested. I get like a good million for him as well. Good luck, Eddie. It's a good club to not go to Charlton. Yeah, it's more the good news keeps on coming in. I thought we'd be playing. It's a Saturday.
I didn't fancy Dyer. Just didn't fancy him. Maybe he's a better player than I think. Look at that. Just wants a thousand pounds. Tell you what. Come along, buddy. We'll give you two pounds. No clauses wanted. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely interested in Baron. Love a bit of flair, me. Look at me. Come on. I just scream flair. Nope, I could care less how England and 21s did today. And I could care less about those two players, to be honest. Come on, Regis. Free grand. This is great. I like him. I'm going to back myself. He's, he's, he's cover, really. He's cover. He's cheap. Have you seen our wage bill? It's mental. So it's good to have a few cheap players in there. Sad for Wales, but hey, please. Countries that no longer exist. Yugoslavia should be there somewhere, shouldn't it? Unless that is them. Nope, there's Yugoslavia. As long as he doesn't get injured, I don't care. Oh, I will. Come Wales up. He's rather presumptuous that I would care. It's a friendly match. It's a weird time to have friendlies, isn't it? This August. What are they doing? Feel free to leave comments in the chat, or if you're watching on YouTube, in the comment section, I will reply. Maybe not in the chat, but I'll reply as I speak. Gee, this game takes longer mode than I thought. I just got to get through it. Does that a 9 nil? Oh, San Marino, that doesn't count. Somebody signings. They're probably good players on the game, but you're like, well, that didn't happen in real life. Sad for Northern Ireland. Bobby Robson looks very happy about it. <laughs> they need to definitely need more pictures for the backgrounds on this. I like going to the backgrounds of the actual stadium. Regis! Ishmael. It's recently Barnsley. Oh, no! He didn't even get to contract. That is sad. Howard Kendall. Wales nicked Howard Kendall off Everton. Man, that's cheeky. So that's Spindle Larson. He's a bad boy on this, isn't he? That's all right. I'll bring him in lightly on the bench. So goes back there. I'm just going to do a Paul Hughes. I don't really play that position, so I'm just going to try some last time. Regis is now my sub. I need to keep this guy. If I can have more of that on wages. I'm going to leave this formation because I liked it. Oh, he lost their goalie. Pretty sure Grodas signed for Chelsea in real life. How many keepers did Chelsea have? Jeez. We got Solar now. He's probably a bit destroyed on the energy front, so I think I'll bring Hughesy on at some point. Zola! Come on! Jean Franco in the house. He's going for the season. 
Gosh, we might do this in season one. Spoke too soon. Tottenham have a good team on this, but actually, in real life, they were awful in 97 I remember they were in the relegation fight at one point. We didn't get a red card for that in that game earlier. God's out of the shoot. Flow might be a little bit inconsistent. Yeah, Zola. Flow doesn't need to score when Zola's on his game. What if Dion Dublin saying, hey boss, I didn't sign to be centre back? Oh, it's all right. Yeah, we just hopefully thrash him now. They're going to attack him. That could be bad news for them. This is the season. What they do this season? I think they. Seen they appointed Gross and they got rid of him the next year, didn't they? Said that Christian Gross guy. We'll let him get rid of Zolo and he's on a hat trick, but I feel like he's just come back from injury. Let's protect him. Why he's on a book in, so that means Chuck Schwindel on. Let's keep one more sub in case of injury. Oh, come on, Husey. Tell you what, Flo has got a buck in. God, Dion. Have your crack up front. Let's give Regis. Regis! Give him his debut. Penalty? Yes! Ah, oh, Dublin's bagged this one. He's off the mark. Sure, he's grateful for his go up front. He's probably a bit fed up defending. I'm really happy with this. This is going great so far. <laughs> Earlier, I um, played as Everton and uh, didn't go well. Yes, Hughesy's off the mark. In real life, these two just had a very contentious two all. This was far from contentious. So they got some good players like Sol Campbell, Ginola, Ferdinand, Klingsman. I think Bertie's overrated on this. Probably because they signed for him today, yeah. I'm sure he signed for Chelsea in real life. He's a Tottenham, apparently, so. What do I know? Regis got an 8. See? Back my judgment. It pays off sometimes. Karine got an 8. I have, I have no lack of love for Ed DeHoy. Just I looked at Karine's ratings and he was better. And sometimes these games get the ratings wrong. But I have to play by the game. As Triple H once said, it's all about the game and how you play it. Right. It was a good result. We are top league, said we are top league. Liverpool. Whew. Not a good night for them. Oh, we had a damaged cruciate ligament, Dubry. Sorry to hear that, bud. Oh, what a game. In the Sellers Park Derby. Kevin Miller still had a great game and he could use four. <laughs> Tottenham on the spend. Do we need 5 1 or do that? Yes, Colgan signed. That's good, because I think he's my future in goals. So I have a go, he's a bit old. We'll let Reese Hitchcock, so if anything happens to one of the other two, Colgan will be involved. And he's on the loan list, so we'll let him go and get a loan spell. Of course, transfer window is different on this. You know, we have a completely free window until March. So we can do whatever we want. I still have a gap in the squad because uh, we did not secure the sign-in of Theron. So I still feel like I fancy a centre mid. So I really, really ought to get a right back. Can I combine the two? Oh, Julian. Yeah, 
Deke Scout free. Sorry, I just get my inner child of the way. <laughs> James Dick. <laughs> This guy plays a Doncaster. I don't know. I do need sentiment. But what I don't like is an injury prone list. I do not need someone on the injury list. Oh, he's 16. Stamina 1. Strength 1. Yeah. Like, I can see him right now in my mind's eye. 16 year old. The worst body in the world. But these guys. These, kind of, these guys must chat in the break room. Because they seem to like the same players. Based anywhere. Of course. Oh, what am I doing? I'm looking at midfielders. Oh, Canavaro. He's good. He is good. Oh my gosh, he's good. I'm tempted. Shouldn't design Richard Rufus. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, a right back. Really? That's who you recommended to me? So we've got a schoolboy here. I'm not just convinced by my scouts, to be honest. He would get a small. Oh. And he plays midfield. Oh, this is good. So I like the look of this guy. His injury proneness is a little high for my liking. You know, I'm not signing someone that. I think oh, Chelsea signed him in real life. But I'm not going to. The end of a Man City at one point, that guy. I'd love to sign Lucas Neal because I love the guy. Oh, Marcus Babel. He's supposed to be better than that. Look at his passion and. Ooh. Ooh. Southampton away, here we go. Sorry, it's on my phone. I got a viewer. Hey, please hit me up in the chat. Love to hear from you. Vidalo, send me a text. I am managing as Chelsea. Just like I said I would about four years after I said I would. Right, there's no point in changing a winning team. He says before. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yes, come on, Zola. Jones got a touch, doesn't matter though. Zola's come in and take this team out another notch, I think. Richard Rufus. <laughs> oh, this is going so well. I'm so happy. Yeah, there's a temptation in me always to sign a new striker, but Flo just consistently is telling me no. Ooh, I don't like Zola getting bookings. It's going well, uh, Mr. Viewer, whoever you are, or Mrs. Viewer, or Miss Viewer, or Doctor Viewer, or Sir Viewer, Lord Viewer, wherever you are, 
Uh, we won free from free. We did lose the charity shield. We did sign Richard Rufus. I think I probably could have got a defender, better defender for cheaper. I paid the English tax there, I think. Signed Ian Dublin and we're playing him at the back. Might not have expected that when he came in. Karine letting us down a bit there. Mm. Made a few big calls. Karine, Charvet. But look at Charvet. That's just good player there. Let's hope we don't throw this one away. Well, Southampton giving us a better game than Spurs did, that's for sure. Right, we're going to have to make some changes, I think. Because... Yeah. Right, so Dennis Wise has got himself in the book. So Spindle comes on. I'm not happy about Zola being in the book. So Hughesy gets to come on. And I'm going to save the other one for now. Just in case. Do we're killing this game off? That last few minutes. So Regis is actually good going forward. So we'll give so a rest. Let's hope we can hang on here. Be gutted to throw away a 2 0 lead. Come on. It says all Paul Jones is man of the match, you know. We've we get a lot of bookings there, haven't we? But I think the Chelsea board will be happy with the way it's gone so far. Blackburn finally win. Did Liverpool finally win? No, they did not. There's a portent for what's going on in the real world right now. But we are sitting pretty Man United right on our backsides though. Back in the days, only 16 teams made the group stage of Champions League. Neville Southall has gone to Everton. <laughs> oh, wait, you were Stokes manager? I don't remember that. Loading. So please, all viewers out there, please feel free to ask any questions or in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. Give me suggestions. Lada Togliati. Yep, I can't hold them. Ooh, Manchester United. Here we go. No changes. Oh, boy, I could be on the bench, though. I'll tell you what, you will instead of Morris. Here we go. Can we get revenge for the charity shield? Can we stay top of the league? We need to at least draw it to stay top. I don't know what they're doing playing Terry Cook. They're obviously not taking this very seriously. And Jordi Coy. Richard Rufus. <laughs> that sounded wrong. Charve a pen's butt. Oh, Skulls did us in the charity shield as well. And the wheels coming off the Chelsea bandwagon. Oh, no. Di Matteo. Those wheels have properly come off the Chelsea bandwagon here. We're going to need a response. I know we've got goals in the team. No, pretty much all the goals seem to come from Flo and Zola.
this is a disaster. Come on, you can do it with a goal there. Nope, did not even get a comment on the shot. Look at that. We are being destroyed. Right, we need a response. And I'm going to get one. Right, so Sola and Chave. Dion gets to go up front. Leberth's actually going to have to defend. No subs yet. Go slightly more attacking. I mean, I don't care if it's 6 0. Like, I just want to have a go. Oh dear. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. Right, let's make the subs now. Let's bring Poirier on. Let's bring Hughesy on as well. No Regis today. We are coming back to down to earth with a very massive bump. I think I have to ask questions about Dimitri Karin after this, I think. 4 0. It's not good. So look at his rate and see how many of their shots they scored. But we're not even managing the master reply. We are all over them, to be fair. Feels like they end. Karin got a nine. I mean, it's hard to say. It could just be a bad day at the office. Bad day at the office. Horrible day at the office. Well, thank you, board. I didn't realise that losing 4 0 was round upon. Even Liverpool won. Maybe our fortunes are like the opposites. But even Wimbledon have overtaken us. The shame. What fixtures have we got coming up? So I'm going to play the Sheffield Wednesday game, and I think that'll be it for tonight. Uh, it's kind of rocked my faith in the tactics. But I don't think it should. Let's not panic. Let's not panic too much. Easy to panic. It's hard to stay. Oh, we could have got that. How's Dalgleish got it there, honestly? Good using Morris, is he? He wants to go to West Brom, and the manager that wanted him just got out of there. Right. I'm keeping the faith. The only thing is, what's my player's physical condition 100%? He's no, are they? Are they in match shape here? How's Rufus doing so far? Let's just keep the faith. Ooh, a lovely away kit. If we lose this, then maybe we've got bigger problems. Terrible mistake by Rufus. Uh, well, this has changed the mood, hasn't it? Richie Humphreys. Yes, come on. Di Matteo, finally, someone other than Flo and Zola scored. I think he was got one. Come on, Zola. Yes. Chelsea are back. 
We're back, baby. Throw and goal. Yes, come on. I oh, can't. We gotta get the win now. That's another red. Surely, elbow in the face. Come on, we're flying now. Di Matteo in the goals. At least we take the lead before the red as well, so we're not just winning because of the red. Carrying though. It's going to remain a question, that. It's going to remain a question. Is he good enough? Yes. I'm loving Tori Andre. He's the one keeping doubling out of the team, really. We're really good at punishing teams when uh, we lose the man. That's a... Uh, Andre Sharp hit the front. I don't see you can play there. No, I'm not actually. Oh, what am I doing? I give Dublin a go. Let's get Regis on. Regis. Tommy as many games as I can to get him acclimatised, especially ones like this where it's nice and easy. Whoops, sorry English Cliff. Back to winning ways. So I will play up to the next game. But I just want to play the next game. So it's been a good start to the season for ourselves. Very happy with this. I feel like I've got most of the transfer business right. I think my, maybe my only big misstep was the Rufus deal. I think I probably could have got someone better for cheaper. But, you know, these things happen. He's not a bad player. I mean, he's the best defender there in that game. Got an eight. So, we'll take it. We're back up to second. And Liverpool won, so it breaks that hole. So, us, look at that. Wimbledon will surely fall away. So, hopefully, we're putting ourselves favourites to get to the Champions League, even if we don't win the league. Sheffield Wednesday. Poor start of the season there. Woo! I'm going to he is quality though, I think. He's someone I want as a wing back. We'll do it. We only pay 1.5 million for him as well, so it's not so bad. Got sacked already. The thing is these loan deals, they don't go from your squad. So then free only up gross is gone. Now I'm going to get about a million things saying, do you want to look at the report of this match? I do not. Nope. Oh wow, Rashford's just made it too now. So yeah, Man United 2 Liverpool now. This is the talk sport on the way up and they were all rubbish in Man United's chances. So can you make a logical argument for Man United to win that game? And I was thinking to myself, Liverpool have played Palace and Fulham and drawn both of them. Are Man United a worse team than Palace and Fulham? Now you might have watched the Brentford game and said yes, but they're not. On paper, you know, they've got good players, they've got a good manager. They got they had a chance tonight and they're showing that. And I think Liverpool maybe they're in a bit of a funk themselves, you know. Post Mane transition, they'll pick up though. They'll, they'll be panic. They'll be panicking about Liverpool now. Liverpool will be fine. They'll go and win some games, and they'll get back on track. And for United, 
the end of the day, Liverpool will be in the top four, and United will be in the top six. Nothing really will change. United is a long-term project. Liverpool are the top, top side. They're going to win big trophies. But everyone's going to do this whole panicking thing now for the next couple of weeks and putting pressure on Klopp. He's a brilliant manager, Klopp. You know, Ten Hag for me is a little bit unproven, but... Okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm quite happy with that purchase. I think we got him for a good price. He signed for Blackburn in real life for 98 99 Hardly played. They got relegated and he was shipped off. So... There's a bit of football history for you. Let's hope he doesn't repeat that with us. I will save. Work our way through these. And uh, for my next episode, we'll be going through the early rounds of the Cup Winners' Cup. So I think I might be tempted for those games to rest a few players because I've never heard of the side we're playing. Um, so I, I definitely don't want to bin off the Cup Winners' Cup. I want to actually win it, just like Chelsea did in real life. But I don't see the point. For, I mean, I'll, I'll look up that team before we play them, but I, I don't, they can't be up to much, surely. So we can uh, give Husey a run out, Poyet a run out, you know, give Dubry and a few of the youngsters a game, give Ed De Hoy a game, or maybe Colgan. Maybe De Hoy. Don't take that much of a risk. Because Colgan could just be good statistically, but actually rubbish in reality. That sometimes happens on these games. But I wish sometimes, you know, they'd make these games... I know you can get mods and updates and stuff, but why don't the makers just make these games again and more Monday? It's so easy to play, so fun. Here we go. I think I'm going to get rid of Frank. So this passive is free. I'm sorry, that is just... I'm like, are you even a footballer? At least there's interest in, um, what's his face? Clark. No one wants Paul Hughes. He's actually a decent player. He just, like, he just does not fit into my tactic at all. He's not trying. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Terrell, well, mate. Somewhat surprised. Why? I don't want the guy. Same with Steam. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna release players my way into the sack now, aren't I? What the way you get like that? Oh, board confidence. Less than satisfied. See, that's because of all that. That's mad, isn't it? Just getting rid of players who no one wants, and we're just gonna end up paying their wages. Ad finitum. Well, I've got two slots to play with for the next time we play. So uh, thank you for watching, especially my one viewer. And I hope Dalo11 you enjoyed if you're watching. And um, I'll catch you next time. Hopefully I'll do another episode soon. And hopefully we can play through quite a few more games than we did this time. Maybe without all the transfers and pre-season and all that. And hopefully we can really see where this Chelsea journey takes us. But until then, all the best. God bless and take care. Ta-ra.